Holy crap, that was so loud. I had no idea how loud my volume was right there. Anyway. Ow. But you could hear that through my headphones. Holy crap. We are gonna play. Always remember me. Oh. It's a dating set. Look at him. Take a minute to just listen. Alright, 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 it's okay. It, it's pretty soft. So, interface tutorial. Uh, I do know how to play this game because I started it, so I know how to play it. I spoiled it. I spoiled it. Yeah. Maybe you can read the tutorial text at any point of the game, pressing F1 key. Okay. Normal difficulty. Let's do a standard intro. Here we go! Right now I just have the demo, I don't know if I'm actually going to buy it, but let's start. We were walking together hand in hand, watching as the sun descended beneath the horizon. The evening was wearing on, and the warm color of the twilight was starting to fade from the sky. Here, let's start this, uh, Amarantha. Um, terrible reading of mine. It's just wonderful. I don't know what to do. Do it. I gotta... A voice. You're doing enough. Don't worry about it. Think. You, don't worry about things so much. I guess that gonna work. But he still doesn't approve of me. Do you think he doesn't like my job? Maybe he thinks it doesn't earn enough money, or that I should be doing something better with my life. <laughs> I didn't mean to say with my life. I was looking at something else. I would like to do more, but it's the best part-time job I could find. His eyes were sympathetic as he looked down at my worried expression. I know he feels bad that his father, Osher, was creating so much grief for us, but I also knew that the situation was going was going to was going to be too difficult and I decided to stay with him. <sighs> I don't think it's your work. He can be pretty stubborn. I know some people think that I could do better. It's not like a job at the ice cream ice cream parlor is anything special. I like ice cream. I'm attending my first year of college for creative writing. It's a natural fit, since I've always loved to write poetry and prose. Prose? Whatever. I had to take a part-time job during the summer to pay for my studies. Some girls in my class have really good summer jobs. <clears throat> I'm... <laughs> Shut up. Honestly, I don't think you'd approve of any girl without uh, without a lot of persuading first. Because you're just so perfect. Look at you. I don't think it's anything personal. He's just being stubborn. Yep, but after all this time, I really thought that he would have warmed up to be mine now. Guess not. He doesn't understand that we're serious about a relationship, babe. Or he doesn't want to understand. It's just so exasperating. Oh my gosh. Since everyone else had been so supportive of us. Oh, she's angry. It will come around eventually. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. Oh, so I just wish he wouldn't object almost every time. He finds out we're going on a date. Ta ta. I know we'll get better soon. I promise. Oh. Da, 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 da. We reached the staircase that led back to the boardwalk in the parking lot. Even over the sand dunes, I could see where Aaron's motorcycle was parked. We were about to ascend the stairs. Ascend. When he stopped and turned to face me. Oh. He took my other hand in his and leaned down gently, kissing me on the lips. Wee. That's not a kiss. Hey, I can smell your breath. I couldn't help but smile slightly, feeling the anxiety melt away. Don't look so worried all the time, okay? You're much more beautiful than when you're smiling, Amy. Oh. I returned the smile and leaned to kiss him again. You're such a romantic. You make us all like it's a bad thing. <laughs> we both laughed and ascended, ascended the stairs, still hand in hand. This is definitely how it should be. I always feel so safe with him at my side. Let's go home, all right? I like that idea. Okay, but can we stop for ice cream first? And I get an employee discount every, every, everything. Fuck you. Sure. I. 
to have the best type of ice cream sundae. Now we should try to split one. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Da, 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 look at your perfect face. My smile grew brighter as a pleasant thoughts passed through my mind. He mounted his motorcycle and I sat on the back, wrapping my arms around My eyes became suddenly smaller. Wrapping my arms around him in the middle, holding tightly. What did I just say? <laughs> I rested my head against his broad shoulders and the the con and let a content sigh escape my lips as the engine started up. The sun disappeared beneath the horizon, and the darkness of the night began to overtake the sky. We sped out of the parking lot in less than a minute, and on Ireland, and, uh, uh, we left back to somewhere in the trees. Trees burned me through. Hey, what am I looking at? Oh, we were only driving for a short while before a strange feeling for of, for. Foreboding? Foreboding? Whatever. Settled over me. I shivered involuntarily, despite the warm temperature, and, and squeezed down tightly, watching as it got dark at the Darth... Dark Vader. Darth Vader. I was thinking of... of thinking of what to make for breakfast for him when we wake up. Yeah. We waited patiently for the light to change color, and when the gre green circle let off its artificial glow, Aaron resumed driving. Thanks for the very detailed description of this. We had just entered the intersection when very suddenly I heard it. Bleh. Oh, what? <laughs> I looked up, eyes widened with confusion, to see another car barreling down the road, swerving back and forth as it approached us. Really? Aaron tried to steer away from the oncoming vehicle, but there was no hope for e of evasion. The car made no attempt to brake as it passed through the red light and collided with us. Well, that escalated quickly. All I remember before the <laughs> hellish sound of of, of, of the crash and losing consciousness was Aaron turning the motorcycle to try to protect me from being directly hit. When I opened my eyes, the brightness of the lights above me were most, almost blinding. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm, it's heaven? Oh no, it's a fucking hospital. <laughs> Though I had never spent very much time in, in a hospital, I recognized the scent of disinfectant and varying other cleaners to be similar to what smelled in the doctor's office. Oh, where am I? It took me another moment of waiting for my eyes to adjust the bright lights before I remembered what happened. My eyes widened with widened wind winded. My eyes got bigger with horror, in the vividness of this of the memory. Oh look, I got a nurse. I sat up abruptly. Just look at the little mini me. It's so cute. I sat up abruptly. Ad 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 shut up. Feeling a dull ache when I moved. The nurse in the hallway I heard my sudden cry and quickly hurried inside my room. Uh, miss, please lie down. <laughs> you weren't seriously injured in the crash, but we would like you to rest before you, we decide if you're ready to be released. Just, it's just a nurse. She doesn't have a name. I'll be looking after you until the time comes. Your injuries are minimal, only minor bruising, and we can't let you leave just yet. We, we were in a car accident, right? That's correct. But please lie back down. We're very glad to see you conscious, but rest is, imper imp is important. I reluctantly laid back down, but I was completely awake and not letting the woman leave before I heard a proper explanation. C can't do what happened? What about the man who was with me? Aaron, is he okay? Uh, uh, the nurse expression seemed to dark and slight. No. Dark and slightly when I mentioned him, which made me worry even more. What happened? I have to know. Babe, tell me. I'm not fully aware of the situation. I need to call Dr. Rena. He, he can explain everything to you. Ooh. Hello? 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 Okay, sorry. Where'd my mouse go? There it is. I waited impatiently, dissatisfied with the nurse's quick of departure. It only took a few moments for the handsome young man in the doctor's uniform to enter the room. He's a fake. I was surprised to see that he wasn't all that much older than Aaron and I. Most likely the fresh graduate out of medical school. Oh. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, Amy. I'm very glad to see you're awake. My name's Eddie Rayner, but you can call me Eddie. Yeah. The man's having the warmest smile, revealing perfectly white teeth. Yes. Good evening. What time is it? Is it still Saturday? Technically, it's Sunday. Actually, technically, it's Sunday. It's three in the morning. I'd be happy to answer all your questions. Oops. Oh, I'd be happy to answer all your questions, but you should probably get back to bed soon. <laughs> I'm not doing anything until I find out what happened to Aaron. He's dead. 
Sorry to break it to you. Short, long story short, Aaron's dead. The young doctor's smile faded in his reaction, much like the nurse's. <laughs> kill, kill my life, and it's over. I don't even know what happened, and it's over. I'm able to hold back my growing worry. I found myself starting to yell as tears gathered in my eyes. I have to know what happened in my eyes. <laughs> and he stood up and nodded toward the door, motioning me for me to follow. Motioning me to follow. I felt my heart sink and begin to fill with cold to red. He noticed the fear in my expression and gave me a brief explanation. Brief explanation. I'd rather show you his current condition, but I assure you he's fine. His life is in no danger. Oh. What was my story? My morale. Goodbye, morale. He has sustained a head injury. He will recover, and it doesn't seem to have done any severe damage, but he has lost some of his memories. We are still trying to observe the specifics of what he has forgotten. As the nurse probably told you, your injuries are minimal. Please follow me. I can take you to him so you can see if he's if he's yeah. <clears throat> I hurried, pulling on a pair of slippers that had been left beside my bed, and followed after the young doctor as he led me out of out of my hospital room into the hallway, listening evident attentively oh, whatever to every word he said. I got the hiccups now. From what I can, from what I can tell, he was trying to protect you during the crash. We were keeping you overnight for observation, but other than some bruising, you're perfectly okay. You don't have any broken bones or severe internal bleeding, thanks to Aaron's efforts. I felt my heart wrench as I look at me. I felt my heart wrench as I. F followed him through the hallways. He wasn't walking very quickly, apparently. Got my morale. <laughs> got a little consciousness and a little tired, I felt. Aaron! Oh, Aaron. From what we can tell, Aaron is suffering from amnesia. He still retains long-term memories, but recent ones from the past few years are hazy or non-existent. He's quite a bit confused at the moment, so he wanted to be sure not to cause him any unnecessary emotional stress. We need him to regain his memory on his own, but it will be in slow steps. I, I, I see. I see. This is my studio, aka office. I know it's a lot to take in, so please feel free to ask me any questions you might have. He still remembered his family, but he doesn't seem to recall anything about the recent about the recent years. You mean he doesn't remember me? I thought he'd always remember me. I'm sorry. We asked him about having a girlfriend, but he doesn't seem to remember anyone by the name of Amy. I felt the tears. I'd been determined not to cry, welling up again, ready to fall. I see. Oh, you look, I just want to give him a hug. <laughs> I'm not crying, my nose is actually running. I walked through the door in, into a room with glass windows and let me see the, let me see in Aaron's room. Aaron's room. Technically, we're peeping. Hello. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but since we don't want to cause him any any grief or aggra aggra aggravate of his condition, I must ask that you not meet with him yet. He's very confused and needs rest. I can understand. It's so hard. I remained there for a long time, watching him and letting tears silently slip down my cheeks, as two nurses spoke to Aaron, who was wore. How can you forget all about me? That thought we You can move between locations using the map right now you can turn back to your home and later in the game you'll be able to move where you want. But I can go to the park. Can I not go to the gym? I guess not. Okay, let's fuck, let's go to the disco pub. Okay. Your home where you live with Aunt Linda.